previously on Morris Middle Morris and Private Investigator. Morris had followed a suspicious looking character out of Don's apartment to the mice gang. Was Don wrapped up in all of this? My brain was fuzzy and my mouth was dry. I didn't know what the hell was going on. How was Don wrapped up in all of this? I don't know. That guy coming out of her apartment just didn't sit right in me at all. I had to walk the streets and think about what the hell was going on. And really, the only way to think is to drink. It helps my mental processes if you get my drift. And if you don't get my drift, well then, you know, I don't know. Go somewhere else, buddy. It's not that kind of story. It's a story where people drink and fall down and bad things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people. And I don't know, as you can see. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, Morris. What can I do you for? Oh, not much. I suppose I just want to drink until I go blind. Well, I suppose we can accommodate that. What's your, uh, poison? Oh, I'll go for the strongest whiskey you got. Good choice. Here's one. Thanks, man. <laughs> Hit me again. Here's another, Morris. That'll be 20 bucks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> 20 bucks, jeez, what the hell's going on anyway, man? Well, it's prohibition, Morris. This isn't exactly a legal endeavor. Well, uh, tell me about it. Nothing is these days in this goddamn town. Well, uh, well, this place is for drinking, not standing, Morris. You want something else? Yeah, give me another one and leave the bottle. There you go. Thanks, man. I'm just down the other end of the board cleaning up if you need anything. No problem. Thanks, Bernie. You're a legend. I know. I really know I am. Bernie really oh. was a legend. Oh. He kept the liquor neat and not watered down and yeah, he charged too much, but oh. what do you expect in this damn oh. town? Twenty bucks for a drink. Seventeen drinks later, I didn't even know what my name was. I know it wasn't the smartest move. Oh. I should have been really thinking about this missing pizza, oh. following up Don's case, oh. trying to figure out how the mice gang were involved, God and trying to figure out who the hell that guy with the mustache gang. was. But you know, sometimes a guy's just got to get his dry mouth around a wet bottle and fall down and drink and swear and do guy stuff. Yeah, you can judge me later, you jerks. Judge yourselves first. You okay, Morris? You, uh, we're about to close up, you. You, uh, might have to get going. Oh, sure, buddy. No problem. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, it looks like you've had one too many, buddy. You want me to call you a cab? Oh. oh man, I'm good. I can walk. Thanks again, man. I'll I'll catch you on the flip of the oh, I'm good. You sure you don't need some help, Morris? Oh, I'm good. I'll see you later. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, that guy. Tough life. Tough life is right. Real tough. Like so tough. Like who even steals a piece of pizza from someone? Not only that, the last slice. What's the ammo? What's the background? What's even going on? By this point, I couldn't feel my legs, my face, my arms, or my neck. Usually, I feel them real good. I didn't know what was happening. Street lights were burning all over the place. Nothing was making any sense. The mice gangs were spinning. Don's head in my face. The guy with a mustache. He almost looked a little bit familiar. Um, something was wrong. Real wrong. I didn't know what to do, I had no one to go to, I was all alone. Sitting in the back alley behind my office, I thought, God, can I get any lower, and can this case get any damn weirder? And then, that's when this happened. Morris? Morris, is that you? Oh, leave me alone, lady. Lady? It's me, Dawn! I'm the one that hired me to find my pizza! What? What? the hell is this broad talking about? I've met Don and she's a deer and this girl's clearly a rabbit. Sure, they both have arms and legs and ears, but beyond that, there's no resemblance at all. As if this case couldn't get any damn weird.